In this presentation, I'm going to review some scientific deceptions regarding the origin of life. The claim that dinosaurs evolved into birds is not a scientific myth. The theory of evolution is a fairy tale built on the hope of the impossible coming true. The theory maintains that the ancestors of birds were dinosaurs, which are the members of the reptile family. The theory claims that all living things on Earth evolved from one another as a result of a series of coincidences. At this point, it should be asked, why don't we come across such a development in the fossil record? Larry Martin, a specialist in ancient birds from the University of Kansas, also opposes the theory that birds are descended from dinosaurs, and he says like this, to tell you the truth, if I had to support the dinosaur origin of birds with those characters, I'd be embarrassed every time I had to get up and talk about it. In order for a land-dwelling vertebrate to acquire the ability to fly, it would need to undergo a huge number of anatomical and physiological changes. Bird's lung possesses a unique and entirely different structure from all other land-dwelling vertebrates, including the reptiles. In the bird's lung, unlike in the land vertebrates, air travels in just one direction, allowing the birds to constantly take in oxygen. The myth that land vertebrate lung evolved into an avian lung is a deception. Any transitional bird-like creature will be unable to breathe at all without a perfect structure. Moreover, birds are warm-blooded and reptiles are cold-blooded. Reptiles have scales and birds have feathers. It is impossible for feathers who have evolved from scales. Reptiles have heavy, thick and solid bones. Birds' bones, on the other hand, are thinner and hollow. Their lighter bones make it possible for them to fly with ease. For example, the scale of a pigeon makes up only the 4.4% of its total body weight. The evolutionists claim that dinosaurs in the Orotheskian group are resembling bird-like anatomical features. Ankylosaurus is a dinosaur classified as Orotheskian. It has a giant body, short legs, skin covered with scales resembling armor. It's like about five tons. How can this species fly? Its characteristics it's too clear to show that the hope of the evolutionist is impossible to come true. Ellen Fedicia, a well-known ornithologist in the world, asks like this, how do you derive birds from a heavy, earthbound, bipedal reptile that has a deep body, a heavy balancing tail, and foreshortened four limbs? Biophysically, it's impossible. These are just a few of the differences between reptiles and birds. Evolutionists can never account the emergence of such complex systems like birds feathers, wings or lungs. Dinosaurs determined the birds then half dinosaur, half bird creature must have lived in the past and left some traces behind them in the fossil record. Those that have been discovered as a transitional form belongs to either an extinct species of bird or a reptile. 
The fossil they most rely on contact is that of Archaeopteryx. It is discovered that it is an extinct species of bird that lived 150 million years ago and that it has no difference from today's bird. It is impossible to explain the existence of birds with the coincidental processes. When there were no dinosaurs at all, birds existed on Earth and were capable of flying. Life and biological diversity are the products of a flawless design and a sublime creation. This, in turn, proves the existence of an almighty and omniscient creator. This creator is God, Allah, Lord of the Earth, Sky and all that lies in between.